my young friends from abroad. I take this opportunity of welcoming you to our and your country. Our country in the sense all of us are living here. Your country because your ancestors were equally Indians like us today. Some of you have come from our close neighbors. Some of you have come from far distance. But you have one common identity. That identity is persons of Indian origin. You have been told about the economic progress, development, how it is taking shape, what are the prospects. But the most important, which can be described, the objective of our economic goal is inclusive growth. By inclusive growth, we mean the fruits of development should reach each and every corner to each and every individual. Therefore, it is the responsibility of the policy makers, administrators, and all stakeholders to ensure and build up a huge mechanism through which the fruits of our efforts are shared by all. And this can be achieved only through spread of knowledge. When you go back, you go back with a part of India, with the experiences which you have gathered. When you came, you landed at Delhi International Airport. You had a lot of questions. And today, or day after tomorrow, whenever you will be leaving your port of departure, you will carry a rich experience with you. Maybe that most of your queries have not been answered to, and it is good. Because always then there will be an interest to know more, to search more, to find out more. But when you go back, you go back, richer in the sense you carry a huge experience with you. Thank you. God bless you. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Jina Garan. I'm coming from SMC Malaysia. Yes, sir, we all are the next future leaders of our nation and also the world. Uh, what kind of the value we should apply in our life, daily life, to become a good leader, leader is like, sir? First of all, I would like to Thank you for putting a very good question. Man is not robot. Every man, and when I talk of man, I include women, every man and woman, must carry his help. And we are fortunate. We are fortunate being the oldest, one of the oldest civilization of the world, more than 5,000 years ago when our civilization started. We were taught in the early days, I will just quote two Sanskrit words. One, we were taught that what is our relation with others? At the dawn of civilization, we are told, Vasudheva Kutumbakam, whole universe, is your relative. You are linked with everyone. That is the value we are inculcating through the ages. And the contemporary exponents of these values are Swami Vivekananda, Ravindranath, Mahatma Gandhi. Values to respect human beings. Value to recognize equality, not in word, but in spirit. 
and that is enshrined in the document which has been once described as the Magna Carta of the human transformation, socio-economic transformation of a vast multitude of human beings. That is our Indian Constitution. Thank you. Thank you, sir.